So, for this problem, to find the derivative of trigonometric functions, then for this given, so y equals 1 half x plus 1 fourth sine 2x. So, to find the derivative, so we have y prime. Then, for the derivative of 1 half x, so this is 1 half, then plus the derivative of 1 fourth sine 2x. So write this constant. So we have 1 fourth. Then times the derivative of sine 2x. So since the derivative of sine is cosine, so we have cosine 2x. Then times the derivative of 2x, that's 2. Then to simplify, so we have 1 half, then plus this 1 fourth times 2, this is 2 over 4, then reduce, so this is equal to 1 half, then times cosine 2x, then we have this common term, so we have 1 half and 1 half, so put this 1 half outside and divide every terms by 1 half, so, 1 half divided by 1 half, this is 1. Then plus, 1 half divided by 1 half, this is 1. So, we have cosine 2x. Then to simplify, so we have 1 half times 1, then plus. So, using the trigonometric identity, the double angle identity for cosine 2x so, since this cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x, then to simplify, so we have 1 half, then times this 1 plus 1, that's 2, then minus 2 sine squared x, then observe that we have this common, so this 2, then put this 2 outside, so this becomes 1 half times 2 and divide every terms by 2. So 2 divide by 2, that's 1, then minus. So we can cancel now this 2. So we have sine squared x. Then to simplify, so this 1 half times 2, this is 1. And for this 1 minus sine squared x, so there is an identity. Since this 1 minus sine squared x is equal to cosine squared x, so therefore, the derivative for this given function is equal to cosine squared x. Then for this given, so to find the derivative, so again, the derivative of sine is cosine, so this is cosine 5x, then times the derivative of 5x, that's 5, then minus. So write this constant, that's 1 over 3. Then for the derivative of sine to the power 3, 5x, so using the power rule, so bring down this exponent, so we have 3, then times sine to the power 3, but 3 minus 1, so this becomes 2, so we have sine to the power to 5x, then times the derivative of sine is cosine 5x, then times the derivative of 5x, that's 5. Then to simplify, so this becomes 5 cosine 5x, then minus so this 1 over 3 times 3, so cancel 3, that's 1. And this cosine 5x times 5, so we have 5 cosine 5x, then times this sine squared 5x. Then observe that there is common 5 cosine 5x, so put this 5 cosine 5x outside. So the remaining, so this is divided by 5 cosine 5x, divided by 5 cosine 5x, so this is equal to 1. 
then minus, this is also equal to 1. So we have sine squared 5x. And again, using the identity, this 1 minus sine squared 5x is equal to cosine squared 5x. Then to simplify, so this 5 cosine 5x times cosine to the power to 5x, so you are the exponents, so therefore the derivative is equal to 5 cosine to the power 3 5x. Then for this given to find the derivative, so we have y prime equals using the power formula, so bring down this exponent, then minus 1 this exponent, so we have sine to the power 1 4x, then times the derivative of sine is cosine, times the derivative of 4x, that's 4, then plus, bring down this constant, then times the derivative of cosine is negative sine, times the derivative of 8x, that's 8. Then to simplify, so since this 2 times sine 4x times cosine 4x, so there is an identity. So bring down this 4 first, and using this identity, the double angle identity for sine, and a is the given angle. So from this a equation, a is equal to 4x, and from this identity, that's equal to sine 2a, but a is equal to 4x. So therefore, this is equal to sine 8x, so we have 2 times 4, so that's 8x, then minus, because we have this positive, times negative, so we have negative, and this one half times 8, or 8 divided by 2, so that's 4, then we have sine 8x, then observe that we have this 4 sine 8x minus 4 sine 8x, so therefore the derivative is equal to 0. Then for this given, so we have y prime equals, bring down this constant, then times the derivative of tangent is second squared, times the derivative of 2x, that's 2, then plus, using the power formula, so bring down the exponent, and minus 1 for this exponent, so this becomes tangent to the power to 2x, then times the derivative of tangent, that's second squared, times the derivative of 2x, that's 2. Then to simplify, so this 3 times 2, that's 6, then times second squared 2x, and this 3 times 2, that's 6. Then we have second squared 2x times tangent squared 2x. Then observe that there is common 6 second squared 2x, 6 second squared 2x. So put this outside. So this becomes 1. So divide by 6 second squared 2x. This is 1. Then plus. So cancel this 6 seconds squared 2x, so the remaining is tangent squared 2x. Then to simplify, so since 1 plus tangent squared 2x, so there is an identity, and this is equal to second squared 2x. So we have now y prime equals this second squared 2x times second squared 2x. So you are the exponent, so therefore the derivative is equal to 6 times second to the power 4, 2x. Then for this given, so using the product formula, so this is u 
times v. So this is equal to u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. So we have y prime equals u is sine x plus 4 then times the derivative of v. So since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, then plus, so we have now v, and v is cosine x minus 4, then times the derivative of u, or the derivative of sine, this is cosine. Then to simplify, so this becomes negative so this positive times negative so that's negative then sine x minus 4 then plus cosine x plus 4 times cosine x minus 4 so just arrange because using this sum and difference identity so observe that we have this cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b and that is equal to cosine a plus b so if we arrange this equation starts from cosine so we have this positive cosine x plus 4 plus cosine x minus 4 then we have this negative so minus sine x plus 4 and sine x minus 4 so this is now our a and b this is a and b so using now this formula so we have y prime equals so that's cosine a plus b so a plus b and b is x minus 4 then to simplify, so this x plus x, that's 2x, and this negative 4, and positive 4, this one is 0. So therefore, the derivative is cosine 2x.